friends. Um, I thought I would try to attempt to do the intro video for this week's video. Um, this week's video, we're, we've been we're going to put together a thing on working on the removing the adhesives from the bus. If any of you guys have done this already, you know how much adhesive is on the bus. If you have not um, done this already. Um, the best advice I can give you is buy two rubber wheels because that will be a lifesaver for you. I'm going to kind of go over a a few of the areas that I can remember um, that we that we've done for adhesive we do have one small area left this um, diesel fuel only we've got to get that removed I did sand over it but it's not removed yet but so adhesives ours had Thomas up there and on both sides it had adhesives on this black Part. It had adhesives up here along the emergency windows. Um, let's see, along the front. Oh, and on both sides, by the way, not just one side. Um, oh, it was for the emergency windows. It had adhesive stickers like at the very top and then also down the window things. I think this was one of them right here. Um, there was adhesive stuff to remove and then the school bus at the top and then there's also there was also something on the back I don't remember what that was now and then also around the front bumper right here all the way um, you can't see that because we've got the hood up right now but all the way around this part right here um, there was adhesive there so like I said it was on on both sides <laughs> of course so another thing that we've been working on there's some of the emergency exit right there that's still not off um, and of course I forgot to mention the bus county school information um, it's a lot of work so like I said get um, two rubber wheels they will be your best friend for this process some people find that a heat gun and scraping it works well um, some people find that the rubber wheel works the best so just find what works best for you but for us um, we liked the rubber wheel the best it's a rubber wheel attachment you can get it on Amazon and it attaches to your drill and if you like our video this week, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Sorry, I know you can't hear me. So when I was 16 years old, I had a black lowrider pickup truck. I went and I got some pink drips down the side. Well, when I turned 18 and graduated high school, them pink drips weren't as cool as they were. So I learned back then how to take stickers off, large amounts of stickers pretty quick. I see people on YouTube, they're buying these fancy rubber wheels. And that, those are cool, those are awesome. But I'm just gonna use, now let me just say, if you got a girlfriend, if you're fortunate enough to have a girlfriend that's got a blow dryer, or if you're fortunate enough to have hair, which I hadn't, I hadn't, I hadn't had in a long time, you can just grab the blow dryer out of the bathroom and just take it. Make sure you put it on hot. And get it started. You might have to grow your nail, your thumbnail out for a, a week or two, 
to get it started and then kind of come away with it because if you heat it too fast it'll melt the plastic and it'll break it which will happen but if you just kind of keep a little bit of heat on it So, there you go. That's one letter. And I know this video is going to be a lot longer because I like to talk. But that probably took me less than 30 seconds to get off, maybe a minute. You don't have to use harsh chemicals or anything like that. You don't have to use a steel wool or any of these scrapers that gouge your paint. That's just going to make it harder on you when you go to rough your surface up, unless you're going all the way down to the bare metal. So just do that i'm gonna come over it with a little bit of goo gone that'll take it off or i've used wd 40 before as well let that set on there for a second and your stuff will just come right off with a uh, just a towel or whatever peace hey guys so remember that first video when i told you not to use a rubber wheel don't listen to that it's this is much easier. Get you the rubber wheel. So Stephanie's about to get up here and she is going to rubber wheel some of the adhesive off um, while I go work on the windows inside. Uh, so. Smells like vanilla. Said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me. Our love just went cold, but I'm still burning. Our love just went cold. Why? I keep on making the same mistake. guys so what I'm about to do is I'm gonna continue on removing some adhesive uh, from the bus we got a lot of hazard stickers and whatnot that need to come off still and so I'm gonna use my trusty rubber wheel I've already gotten the stickers off but um we gotta get the get the sticky off so that's what's going down you said it was the last time you keep coming back to show me Sorry you have changed now But it's the same old story I love just went cold But I'm still burning I love just went cold You are back when
All right, I'm gonna let that simmer for a little bit. So you guys know we're doing the we're doing the wire wire wheel first, and then we're doing. I'll take the the scraper blade. Well, first we take the scraper blade, take the decal off on the hazard decals. On the other decals, the black ones, then we're just uh, we're just doing them with the with the rubber wheel. That works good for them. And then uh, over the hazard decals, we'll come back over. We'll come back over with some uh, some acetone and just blot it and let it loosen up a little bit. Then I'll scrape that adhesive off, and then. Uh, then I'll take a green scouring pad Once I get all the adhesive I can get off I'll take a green scouring pad put some acetone on it Scrub Just swallowed the bug sorry uh, Scrub with that and then I get all, all I can off of that and then I'll take my microfiber put some acetone on it Get the rest off and then wipe it clean one more time and that gets rid of those decals really awesome we've gotten all of them done on this side except for the thomas built so this side's done I fin i'm gonna finish up the back today and then i'll start on the uh um on the other side tomorrow I've already actually started on it. I've gotten all the hazard stickers off. I've just got to go back over it with the rubber wheel. And right here, that's still real sticky. Right here, still sticky. All of this. So I've got to uh, get that off. This is all in preparation of paint, paint work. All right, guys, we'll catch you later. Now I have to get over you again. finished with the back and we've only got one more side to do and not even that I've done half of that we got just a few more labels to take off on this side and then we're ready to start prepping for paint but I can't pretend now I have to get over you again Things you said just to hurt me My love just went cold But I'm still burning My love just went cold Why? I keep on making the same mistake I always let you back in What's up guys? Know what we're gonna do? We're gonna remove the very last decal on the bus so that we can get ready to paint, paint, paint. 
we had to order us another rubber wheel because we grossly underestimated underestimated how much rubber wheel we were going to use and there's a lot of decals on the bus so we've already got the sticker part removed but now we've got to remove the the nasty residue so that's what we're about to do now hey what's up guys sorry that the uh, last video cut off on us we did get the uh, we did get the last bit of adhesive off up there on the top so that's cool it's just another project down Stephanie and I want to thank you guys for watching the videos and if you like the videos press that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share the videos We've got a ton more projects that we're uh, working on right now, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get those videos out to you soon. All right, later.